still looking illegal, you do not have to help. It's caught a lot of people to make sure they got that. <laughs> I'm just joking. I hate well, Sarah to death. Um, we went through the same ASAP class together. And um, I love the ASAP community. So thank you guys in the audience right now supporting the veterans. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is like home base. And if you guys don't know, too, ASAP also uh, uh, gives us scholarship. And you can use it anywhere. And I suggest taking it here with the pushers because these guys, amazing, amazing teachers. They changed my life. That's enough kissing pushes ass. Yeah! Oh, guys! They're great guys, really. They're favorite white people. Besides the ASAP class, because I, you know, they're, they're like family. Except for like, <laughs> that one dude, remember the guy? That, he, we were like family, we talked to this every day, even today, through like Messenger and stuff. This one guy just bailed immediately. Which kind of um, hurts my feelings. So I understand why he stopped talking to you guys, but I don't understand why he stopped talking to me. No, I genuinely thought this guy was funny. But, um, in your guys' defense, uh, his stuff was a little racist, even through text. <laughs> I'm sorry. He would say, his stuff was just like, he has a notebook out. Like, uh, big Italian guy. Alright. So I have this wife. She's black. Talk about uh, mac and cheese, am I right? Why? That's it? See, saying it now, I even regret that. So. <laughs> but, uh, saying, so maybe it wasn't too bad that he left the class. But. <sighs> so I must be getting too old too, forget my stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I have a girlfriend, she's black. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not everything. Is it? Uh, her, in three months, her and I are going to have a baby boy. Yeah. Uh, so you guys cheer for Nickelback. <laughs> you better cheer for my boy, oh my god. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's a big deal for you. I'm uh, here with this crowd, this amazing crowd is all here for you, bro. Thank you so much for your Nickelback love this. <laughs> But I'm excited to be a dad. I, I, the most excited I've ever been because I come from a huge, huge family. This is not an ADD child. This is both of our first baby. No, all different daddies here. No, all different mothers. This is our first baby, and I'm so excited. Yeah. Woo! Thanks. And I'm so glad to see you all closing everybody. Sarah, making me all. I'm hormonal, okay, guys. <laughs> The only thing I wasn't really ready for, because I've been ready for my whole life, I come from this huge family. We're all raised, raising each other. So I raised people about my age, just never had one of my own. Now it's finally happening at 37. And I was like, I'm ready. But the, uh, to be honest, the only thing I wasn't ready for was how much she was going to change. <laughs> Because, uh, all right, I don't know how to say that, but just say it off the bat. Like, she started calling me her partner, and um, she, she won't let me cut my hair also, and between my hair, my corona curves, and I just know, like, when she says court partner, people might think I am a, you know, some all lesbian. It's like, this is not a good look for me. <laughs> Can I cut my hair at least? Like, no, I'm not allowed. I wanted to go by baby daddy. She said, no. Said, Even if I change my pronoun, she said, hell no. <laughs> Just seeing how much she changed also made me see how much my mother changed. Like, I'm not changed. I see her as a human now. She had a life before me because my girlfriend was, she's different. You know, like, she used to think my farts were funny. <laughs> Now she's like, she smells and she's like, you had a bacon, egg, and cheese without me this morning, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't know that 
this. <laughs> well, you know, my mother, she's, you know, oh, happy belated Mother's Day, by the way, so. <laughs> my mother, she, uh, she was a person before me and my sister, youngest of nine, immigrant, came here very young, got married right away to the wrong guy who bounced on her, and she had to work 18 hour days to support me, you know, and see her differently. And it's like, with the way, with the way I grew up, sometimes I think she might have, uh, parenthood might have made her a worse person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be very serious. Uh, when, when I was about eight years old, uh, I had a pet bird, and uh, my pet bird died. Thank you. The one person with a heart. My pet bird out there. You know, my dad's going to go, what the hell? <laughs> but I was heartbroken. My mom, she walked up to me and she saw me being sad. She was like, Dad, do you, I know you're, do you want to see head in? You know, as a little kid, like, of course, yes. I would love to see him and see my pet bird again. So, what she did was we took two fingers of Vicks paper rub and spread it across my eyes while they were wide open. Oh. Heaven smells like menthol. <laughs> you know, it was worse. You know, last, she's a retired nurse also, but last month I had hemorrhoids. So I called my mom for advice. And she told me just like this. Oh, me too, Anna. You, you put bits in. It's gonna burn, but it's gonna burn good. It's gonna burn so good. <laughs> I can't wait for her to be a grandma. Because, <laughs> you know, my, my, my grandma, she was a very hard woman before grandkids. You know, she, uh, Raised nine kids, World War II era World, and World War I. Smoked cigarettes, shotgun. If you guys don't know, she took a lit cigarette, put it in her mouth, and smoked them that way, and spit out ashes. And she was hardcore. <laughs> Very hardcore. <laughs> no, is, I'm not joking, it's my mom, my grandma. <laughs> but she was still home base. And we were, me and my cousins, we would run around, like, even though, like, we run to her and she would literally, like, if you touched my grandmother, not I, you were safe. You were not <laughs> Smoke would come out. <laughs> <laughs> and my grandma, as hard as a woman she was, she still gave like the greatest advice to me. And um, the advice that I'm going to share with, like, with my son. Because, uh, and I hope my mom is that way too, but the advice she told me was very young. She called me over, I'll never forget. She, uh, she called me over in a very soothing voice. Ben! <laughs> she didn't sound like that. You're wrong for laughing, by the way, that way. That's so wrong. You laughed at her, man. Ha! <laughs> but she called us over, and she told us, Dad, when you buy the girl brand, I want you to make sure her, her nails were clean. I was like, you know, little, like five, six, seven years old. I said, Nah, why? Why do you even matter? Why? Because you know if her nails are clean, then her kiki is clean. <laughs> My name is Akramisa.